How to turn a paper in online to a Turnitin assignment within Blackboard student tutorial. If your instructor has instructed you to turn a paper in online through Blackboard using the Turnitin assignment feature, go to the content area your instructor has designated. For this example, I'm going to click on content on the left hand side. The Turn It In assignment is the first one in my list. You may have to scroll down to find yours. You'll know it's a Turn It In assignment by this icon. Click on the View Complete link. If it is your first time to turn it in, you will get a Services Agreement in which you will have to scroll down and click that you are over the age of 13 and submit. Once you've done that one time, it will accept you and you will come to the page that I am displaying on my screen. Now, you will see on this particular screen here that you have uh, the name of the assignment as well as the actual um, assignment here for the class, which class you're in. You also have the start date, the due date, and the post date available for you. Now as we scroll here to the right and look at more on this particular screen, you will see a submit button. Click on that. This page will appear. It will automatically fill out your first name and last name and you will have to enter a title for your paper. By default you will be uploading a file. It's a single file upload. Please review this area here for more information about the type of files that can be uploaded. In particular, take a look at this. It will be WordPerfect, MS Word, PDF, HTML, RTF, and plain text, as well as PostScript. You're going to click on Browse, and then you're going to go to your desktop to find your file. Your file may be located somewhere else. My file is here. Also, if you're going to copy and paste the paper directly in, you can select, change the select option here and do the cut and paste upload, which will then allow you to have a box in which you're going to copy and paste into. Scrolling down, I've attached my paper I'm going to click on Upload. When your paper has been uploaded, it will show you an example of your paper. Don't be worried if all of the formatting doesn't show at this point. It's just showing you which paper you have uploaded. If this is the paper you intended to upload and it looks correct, click on the Submit button. If not, Click on return to the upload page and repeat the upload process with the correct file. I'm clicking the submit button. Do not click on anything else while the submit is in process. Your paper has been submitted properly. As you can see here, now you will see your paper as well as the formatting that was on your paper. Also, please note that the paper ID is here as well as a message that your paper was submitted successfully. You will also receive an email within your email box if the email address you have in Blackboard is correct. This is what the digital receipt will look like. When you click on it, it will be in your email. You can click on it and you will see the paper ID, the paper name, as well as your paper. You'll want to hang on to this just in case you need it. Now looking back at Blackboard again, you can click on the Assignment Inbox tab up here to take you back to this page. You will see now that the paper was turned in and um, the originality report is already available. Now what this is, if your instructor has allowed um, you to see the originality report, this is where you will be able to click on it and get that information. As you can see, it'll click open and then I can see all the matches to my paper. 
This is only available if your instructor has allowed it. Also, if you click on the View button, you'll be able to view the paper that you turned in to turnitin.com in the viewer. So if you want to double check once again if this is the correct paper, you can do that as well. If you need to download that paper, you can click on this button here. And it will download it and you either select originally submitted format, that will probably be the format in which you uploaded, mine was done in Word, if I click this one, or if I click this one, it will download it as PDF. So if you need that paper back for your, for, um, your records, you can do so. To return back to the course, you can click up here on the left where it says the name of the course. Once your instructor has graded your paper, then you can return back to turn it in assignment within your course. So I'm going to go ahead and click on content. And then I'm going to click on view complete. Now when you bring up the paper, you will see that you can now click on view and the document viewer will show up. Now here is where you will see the grade that you obtained for the paper as well as any uh, markups your instructor has done. Move your mouse on top of them and you can see what your instructor has written about um, the comments that they have made on your paper. Also, if you'd like, you can also pick up your grade from the gradebook within your class. For my example here, I click on Tools and then I click on My Grades. Your instructor may have a My Grades here on the left as well. From within here, I will also see the paper as well as its grade. Also, I can see the time in which my instructor had graded it. If you click on the score, you'll be able to bring up the um, originality report as well as the paper. So this is the actual paper. And if you click up here on grade mark, you can actually see the instructor's marking as well from this view. And then, of course, the grade up here. If you have any additional questions, contact the Student Help Desk or contact your instructor.